this one is not very pleased that she's not getting to go on this. She's not used to uh, camo bags being packed and she doesn't get to go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Georgie, here. Scatter the miles to find in my way I know. to go. Sorry, All right, we're right on time. Let's go. Close your eyes and chase what you see. The rest of our days, no more losing sleep. No matter where we go, you make this feel like. Well, we made it to Jake's house. Here's yeah, the did. man. You ready to roll? Oh man, this is about to be a good one, I think. Well, the pit stop is over. We got what, about three hours? About three hours. Making it to somewhere in Mississippi. I don't think I've ever been in Mississippi. Grenada, the crappie capital of the world. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, that's where we're headed. Blazing trails, sleeping on bedroom floors. I patterned your smile, still finding our way to go. Just close your eyes and run through the tree. The rest of our days, just hold on to me. No matter. Well, that is the end of day one. We put 13 hours of driving in today. We only have four left. So we're gonna be there earlier than expected tomorrow. So long day and we are ready to be on the coast. All right, we are up in Adams somewhere in deep in Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi. We're only about four hours out to our destination. No matter where we go, you make this feel like Well, I did not video when we arrived here. We were just meeting them. I didn't want to be putting the camera in their face, but we made it. And I'm going to show you a little tiny bit of last night uh, and the meal that we had. And man, this is just a wonderful place. We're having an awesome time. We each caught um, a couple speckled trout yesterday. And so I'm going to jump to that right now. You got to find your people, the ones that get the joke. To understand what you're saying for a word is smoke You gotta find your people To put the needle in the groove When you're together you got nothing to prove When you're together you got nothing to lose In a world full of strangers You don't know who to trust All you see is danger all right, it is the morning of really day number one here in Louisiana, and we're going out with Kenny and Tyler on his boat, and we're going to be targeting spotted trout. We may do some red fishing in a little bit, so I'm going to bring as much of this day to you as I can. I'm really excited. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Captain Good morning. Kenny. Good morning. They call you Captain? Uh huh. Oh, yeah, you can call me Captain. All right.
What does the white line in the water indicate? That's a current line. Okay. The, the rocks come off that platform out to the right, like a peninsula. Right, okay. If you lined up, that, that platform's not square, it's kind of rectangular. And it, it shoots straight out from the rectangular part. Uh -huh. What is the purpose of that platform? Uh, it, they drilled falling gas, they made a well, okay. and that's a production platform. Okay. Uh, and see the bigger rig over there? Yeah. Most all this oil and gas goes to to that platform where they're it's connected processed with, they're and connected. It, and they have pipe yeah pipelines underwater. Okay. And then okay, right here. Right. We're technically in the Gulf now because we went out past the islands, right? I won't be long. Hold it hard for me now. I'm coming home. Tyler, will you explain to me exactly the habitat we're fishing here? Let's see, all right, so we're in the Gulf of Mexico. Just had an old platform, it's a small old platform, but it's got a bunch of uh, shale and structure on the bottom. When they build these old platforms, they put a lot of shell and everything. On the bottom. But, um, but yeah, so it's just a lot of shell, and so they, all the fish just hold on to the structure. Uh-huh. Because otherwise, it's a big desert out here. Right. And so it's, it comes out, it's just all mud, and it's just one little spot of shell. So right. all the fish just stick right there. So and what do you what do you, by shell exactly? What do you mean? Like oyster shells. Okay, and they dump and oyster limestone. shells out here. Yeah, mostly it's like limestone, but then stuff starts growing on right. it, making reefs. Comes a little coral reef right. habitat. Right. Because normally a shrimp will bury in the mud to hide from the fish. Right. But when they come over this hard surface, they can't bury, and the fish know it. The next time look in your eye. Lost the one. Lord, what have I done? Oh, I say, I, I waited. On my lifetime. It has been a fantastic morning. Yeah, We've I caught mean, right around 20 or so. No, I, it, We're going to try a new, new spot down. here. We're going to try to do something different. It's a good day. What do you think, Elijah? It's fun. Yeah, it is. Caught a couple, but I'm still excited. Well, we moved over to, what's the name? Oh, we got a fish on. What's the name of this island, Kenny? Pelican? <laughs> Tyler's got one. Oh, yeah, it's a nice trout. I got, I'm gonna swing it right to where you're at. This is the one I just caught. It's uh, about 14. Yeah, 14, 15 inches. Yeah. Throw them in the box. It's about, I don't know, 12, 12, 30, one. Yeah, there's a bunch up there. Oh, try it on. There's a bunch up there. Oh, we just got another one on. So, I tell you, being in a different environment like this that I've never been in with these coastal marshes, these trout, man, it's just like a whole different world from my fishing experience. Looks like we're starting starting to heat up. Here we go. Hey. There we go. Oh man. I'll tell you what, if I lived around here, I'd be doing a lot more fishing. Oh, he came off. 
I'd be doing a lot more fishing if I lived around here than I do in Kansas, I can tell you that. Yep, go. Nice. Nice, nice. good job. Nice job, Elijah. He's a big bull red. He's got a beast on. If he runs back this way, you might have to run back to the back of the boat. Oh, he is giant. This day one, this full, I mean, we fished a little bit last night and caught, I don't know, we each caught one or two little uh, speckled trout. But today, everything we've been catching from keepers, we all have, I don't know, four to seven fish. We had these two big old reds on, Elijah and Jake almost landed them, so. That is the end of our first full day of fishing. We've got more though. We got a big meal coming up tonight. We're gonna do some cleaning. We're gonna show you guys the fish. I'd say that was about as successful as what we could have expected, don't you think? Yeah. We each got like five to seven fish. That was so much fun. Yeah. We got two, at least two more days of this. Maybe three. Probably, probably two more days. But hopefully, we can get on some reds. Yeah. After we saw those two reds that Elijah and Jake had on the line, I think I'm gonna be asking them if we might be able to try to target some reds. Yeah. Even if you only, if you caught one or one. two of those a day. Yeah. Even one. Just yeah, one. Even one. I just want to catch one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be good. The peppers in there. What are they? Jalapenos. But they're they're pain jalapenos. They're not hot. I don't want to be the recipient of all the meat on my lap. Here we are from morning number two. Same people, same boat. We're gonna target trout again today. So here we go. Well, what's our plan for today? Uh, I think we're uh, going back out to the rigs. Maybe the reef we uh, caught some out on the way in first. And see some if we first catch some more some trout. trout. Right, how are you feeling about the fishing down here? Great. Yeah. It's so much fun. You got any goals today, Jake? John Boy Red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're kind of torn up about the one that got away, aren't you? Yeah, very. I mean, there's a good chance I'll never have one like that on the end. In your entire life. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Haunting. I, if we could get that, that would make this. This would be ice on the cake. Trips are already awesome. Yeah. If I get one of those, that'd be yep. a good deal. Checklist good. All right. Day two fishing trip is about to begin. Apparently, the tides <clears throat> have a lot to do with the fishing, as far as how the shrimp and the little bait fish work. And uh, they said yesterday was decent, but a little slow, which it didn't feel like that to us at all. But I think that Kenny and Ty are a little more optimistic that we'll have a little better day today. So, Day two, here we go. Can you tell me why you chose to stop at this place? Well, see this, the, the, this slick is current, current coming through. Uh-huh. 
and we caught fish right over there on the point yesterday. Tyler suggested we stop early mm -hmm. and try and fish along this shell beach right here. Yeah. Because the full moon's coming up and that's where they, the trout are gonna spawn. They're gonna get up right near the, the beaches. Yeah, have they not spawned yet? They probably have had a spawn already, but yeah. generally it's on the full moons. Gotcha. First fish of the day. You just got a really nice Whole, whole, uh, see all that nervous water out there? Yeah. That's all bait. Ah. And so there should be fish on them. Gotcha. Yeah, those things. That looks like we're gonna make a move. So what's the plan? Where are we moving to? We're gonna go out and fish a rig, which is where we started yesterday. Did you get any bites? That's spot number two. This is where we started yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, we caught 10 or so here yesterday, 10 to 15. So oh, yeah. Oh, shit. There you go. oh, Tyler's on no, too. No, I was just trying to get my line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Net him or should I kind of sling him? Well, it? swing him to me. But... Oh. Woo. A little too far. Yeah, I need a little more line. Okay. Just flip the bail. Yeah, I was going to say, don't bail him up quite that Okay. Jake had a shark, a little shark go oh, get it, come on, toss it in there again. Oh. Oh, get it. You wanna catch it? Yeah, he got him. Oh, he's got him! <laughs> <laughs> Just shark on. Reel yours in, bro. You have to go on the other side of him. You gotta go Damn. Yeah, you might have to come out here. Yeah, he's on his boat. You have to go back out the back side. He's good, he's good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Let me try to use the boat to his advantage. <sighs> Jake saw this little shark dropped in <laughs> right by him. Boom. He's gonna pop me. Well, he might. There he is, right there. Oh, you got him on the fin too. You know that's why he's fighting so hard. You got him on the side fin. Oh. You might be able to get the hook off. See y'all. See, see y'all. Don't think it'd be wise for me to handle him? No. He's gonna be tired here shortly. So what is that? What kind? Oh, I have no clue. I, I, I have to look up all the time. Shark ID stuff. No rat. Okay. Man, that's a great burn now. Yeah, don't grab it. <laughs> I appreciate you uh, entertaining me on that. Yeah. <laughs> That's so we've been moving around this rig here and this spot. We probably caught more fi more fish quicker here. Maybe last night we had a little run, but I think as far as number of fish we've caught in a little amount of time, this has been the hottest we've been. We are catching, I'd say, 
70% trout, 30% little catfish. But it's heated up pretty good here, so. Enjoyable day, a little hotter today, a little stiller. Right on a reef, there's the, I guess they put limestone and shell bases down at the bottom of these and where this reef comes right out, which attracts the bait fish. Nice. Ooh, nice one, Elijah. Oh, look at all the bait that just scattered from my car when I popped there. Elijah just. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. That's a monster. That's a trophy. No, that's a good fish. All right, so we're having a good day. Jay caught that shark. Elijah caught the biggest trout. I don't know, how many things we have in the cooler? About 10, 12? Oh, no, we got more than that. More than that? Oh, yeah. More than that. I don't know, 15 in the cooler. We're having a pretty good day. So let me show you this third spot where we're at here. Pretty uh, intimidating looking. That's for sure. Things got a beast in the rib fish here. He's got on a double red. No, it's just uh, one. One following. One following. Wow. <laughs> I was say, at, least I hope, at least I hope that's what it is. We good? Man, he doesn't like the boat. I don't know. Do you why. catch redfish out this far very often? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And father. You saw him? Yeah, I saw him. No, we saw two. One ball. Are you gonna need that netted? Netted or hand gaffed? Yeah, we need the net. Challer at me when you're ready. I'm ready. up front. No, I'm not going to go up there yet because I don't want him in the anchor. Is he on the other side or is he back? Man, what a fish. This is what y'all had on over there. Look, there he is. Wow. Oh, oh. He's a big one. We'll probably just let him go though. Well, no, I normally I would keep him from black and red. Look at those spots. But, yeah. Well, the big ones are, are but, breeders. But it's going to take up too much ice chest. Hopefully, it will catch the trout. Might be a little. The hand, the hand gas would probably be best. Better than this. Like this time, hand gaff or the boga grip. Yeah, I'm just gonna boga grip. Kenny. Thank you, man. man right. Y'all want to take pictures with them or anything? Yeah, y'all want to take a picture with my fish? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, Come on, Kenny. Jake, take a picture. Let's take a picture. 
Yeah, I'd Look. rather take a picture of you. Yeah, there goes face. a needle. Here, needle okay, come on. Hold him up. Can't Everyone's catch on. Like, oh. Everyone's catch on like crazy, so I better get in the water. We're doing really well right here. I don't know. We've caught five, six, seven. I don't know. Right here. All right, right here. And that trout I caught was a man. He fought like crazy. He bit you? <laughs> There's these deer flies up here that bite. And they have a very painful bite. But when you're in by the marsh, they bite a lot more than out here. They're not really out here. On this one does not feel as big as the last one. But we will see. Here it comes. Got it? Alright. Oh. oh, a little better. Oh. When it's big enough, I think it is. Right. Yep. Yep. Good to go. Now you just need trails. Might be better for us if I stand up. It's so calm today. Yeah. Makes it nice if we got to hold on every. There we go. Oh, oh. Got him! Nice job! Woo! I gotta get you to hold this up. Get a picture. Yeah. Came off. Both came off. My first twofer. Well, there's nothing wrong with those fish. Man, what a day we're having today, huh? We had a great day yesterday, but today has been even better, I think, because catching more fish, bigger fish. So, man, I got to thank Kenny and Tyler. Tyler, what's your Instagram handle again? T Bow Hunt. And he actually has a YouTube channel called How We Hunt. If you want to check him out, go and do that. Give him a follow on Instagram at whatever I just said, T Bow Hunt. And his YouTube channel. tonight Donna. Uh, tonight we're doing a shrimp boil so I start with the onions first they cook a little while and then I do the potatoes and corn and then we will add mushrooms and sausage and then last the beautiful shrimp fresh mm. off the boat I watched them dump it off the boat uh, <laughs> can't get no fresher yeah, yeah what are we doing over here this, this is what will go in next with the shrimp yeah, some people do it like all the veggies and stuff first. Right. But uh, I found I can time it to where you cook that for a while, and uh -huh. then you just cook it, and then you throw it. The shrimp only takes a minute, so yeah. you can cook it all in one pot. It works good. Ooh. Take glasses. Mmm. Yeah, he Elliot had never had crawfish before. I saw him. He said he, he's never seen anything cook like that. Yeah. What, what is that? I've never seen that. Mm. So we have sausage and corn and mushrooms and what else is in there? Potatoes and now it's time to put in the shrimp. Shrimp fresh off the boat. I watched them pump it out the boat. So it is ready to go in. Let's see if I can do it without getting burnt. 
Here we go. You see it's already turning pink, pink, pink. That's pretty much it. I usually bring it to a ball and turn it off. More. We got room for more. We're going to put some more. Yeah, I promise you out here. <laughs> <laughs> They're always good leftovers. Sure. I just pulled up some of that, but I already put them in there. That's it. Mm. This is how life was meant to be lived, I believe. Uh, let's see how it's going over here. Honey, you gotta eat before dark. We're going good. Out. We're done. Maybe somebody poured out something. <laughs> When I see and smell that, I'm thinking one thing, like how many of these can I possibly eat and still feel comfortable? Yeah. If you break okay. it off and, and you can tell. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to give us a show us. See us Kansas guys are pathetic. Well, for one thing. Are people from Kansas that know how to do this. But sure. Not, not us. <laughs> well, for one thing, once you get above really like the Arkansas, Louisiana line, you lose the ability to get fresh shrimp. And that's right. key. Like the fresh shrimp. She it, got this right off the boat. Exactly. And that's the number one. You got this right off the boat, right? I did. I wish y'all were there. I hope I'm gonna call to see if they have, uh, if he's coming in tomorrow, cause that's just really cool to watch him yeah. unload those boats. Uh, a little bit for everybody. Well, it it's doesn't cool come out even, so you here. have to like uh, shop around. Hold up, we got it. You kind of have to shop around because the onions and the mushrooms and everything don't come out either. Usually most people just put it out on the table, flat on the table. The sausage, actually the sausage are the best. Mm. <laughs> All right. You want to pray, Kenny? Sure. Father in heaven, thanks for praying and gifting. Thank you for the wonderful day. There's some things we can't live without A man so prone to doubt Faithful are the wounds of friends So give it just a little time Share some bread and wine Weave your heart Here we go with day three. Jake is out with Tyler today. Elijah and I are out with Kenny. We're targeting redfish today. So they've gone out a little bit ahead of us. We just got word from them that they already have two. And we're gonna hit the water here in just a second. What's he got? Oh. oh. Careful, don't pull it up too close to the... There we go! <laughs> nice, Elijah. See, and that's my favorite fish right there. Now, see the blue on the tail? See how it's turning blue? That's yeah. They feed. Huh? You can see him falling here, or just the V in the water? You see the water. Yeah. Kenny's got one on! Yeah, he got off. Thank goodness. False alarm. Well, it's, it's not even a red. Not even a red, but it's better than nothing. To catch, but he's not legal. Right. They gotta be 16 inches. Is hey. This, is this a black? It's a puppy drum. And they call At least we are on the board. A cool looking fish. A black drum. They have to be 16 inches. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, little friend. Well, I just got one. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, wait, wait. You got him. Uh, nice, Elijah. Than the nice. I saw it moving back there. I cast it. Um, it's a little bigger. We had it. Okay. I just got two. Nice job. Get a picture. I move on. The last one was like just shy of 17. So. Well, here we are. The last morning down here in Louisiana. What an amazing trip this has been. I want to give a special thanks to Kenny and Donna, his wife, and Tyler their son. Man, what a trip it has been. These guys went out of their way in every single way, shape, and form for us, and I just cannot thank them enough. What an amazing trip this has been. Oh, uh, it was a trip of a lifetime. Yeah. It was really fun. Well, this is it. This is it, the end of the journey. I just want to thank you Not for journey. everything you've done, Kenny. Well, it's been my pleasure. Just really enjoyed having you guys. You have some kind of family and some kind of lifestyle, I'll say that. <laughs> on the way down, we talked all about our anticipation of this trip on the North American Waterfowler podcast, my podcast. And then on the way back, we're going to do a second podcast where we talk about just a review, a recap. So if you want to hear all our thoughts and uh, impression of this whole area and this trip, you can find us on the North American Waterfowler podcast where we're going to break it all down. So, uh, Man, what a day, what a trip this is. Come.